will open it. Pop, 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 pop. Much pop patient. A lot of times you buy tops like this and it will be feathers flying everywhere. Don't play. Don't play. Y'all know this is a vibe. Valenciaga is canceled, so we're gonna get a dupe. <laughs> Love the color of blue against my skin. Look, the hands of Jesus himself to get these over my thighs. Dun, dun. Welcome beautiful people, I am Chef B. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you are subscribed down below. For today's video, I'm about to do a she and try on haul for you guys. Now, I know I haven't done one of these in a very long time. If you haven't been watching my vlogs, I moved about five or six months ago and I had too many stuff to even buy more stuff. So I needed to get settled first before I actually think about buying new clothes. I'm settled now, still got too much clothes, so I need to do a, a sale or something real soon. But anywho, I bought some stuff from Shein. Let me see if I can lift it, okay. I think I got about, I'm gonna say 20 something or less or more, I'm not sure. I bought a bunch of different stuff. So for my measurements, so that you can use it to scale for your measurements on what to choose in terms of sizing on the website, I wear a medium in tops, large in bottoms, medium or large depending on the fabric in dresses. My bust measurement is 36 inches, my waist is 30 and my hip is 44 or 45, I'm not sure. Now I haven't been on a scale in a while because my weight has been stuck to 18 for the last couple of months and um, I refuse to step on a scale. I, I don't know, I just don't know and I don't care. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. This is the first time I'm doing the try on haul since getting my diagnosis for my skin disease. So I have a skin on autoimmune skin disease which is rare called morphia morphia something 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 i don't know the big words i don't know how to pronounce it but anyway it's my first time doing a try and haul since getting that diagnosis like if you if you know you know this is major for me to get on here okay that being said into this outfit so our first item is this top this tube type like top it's a full leather obviously it's not really leather especially with the price but what i love about this top is it has the tape type elastic thing that actually holds onto your skin so you don't have a nip slip your boots don't be falling out and all of that i got this in a medium and it fits really well it's not snug on me it's feeling really comfortable and I'm just loving how it looks. It's like a real vibe. And you can wear this in the winter time with maybe like a long sleeve dressy shirt just to give it that type of look. And our second item is this denim camouflage pants. And I got this in a large, and I gotta say, it is fitting nice. Like the contour on the booty, I was a little bit worried because I'm like, there is no stretch at all in this pants but it fits real good. I'm loving how it, it's lying on my waist, especially in the back. Because a lot of times when I get large, because I have a smaller waist compared to my hip, if I get it large or a bigger size, here has like a huge gap, but the gap isn't so bad. It's, it's like resting, it's resting on the bottom. And I'm loving that it contours to my thighs so it doesn't look like it's squeezing or stifling. It's doing this one, I'm loving it. Next we have this really cute high neck top. And I absolutely love the ruffles on this. It's really light feathery. So it doesn't look like actual feathers, it just looks like a bunch of stringy looking thingy magics on there and what I'm loving is that they're not falling apart because a lot of times you buy tops like this and it will be feathers flying everywhere. If you were to a restaurant, you have it in your food, you have it in your hair, in your lip gloss. So I'm not seeing any of these little frilly thingies falling out. And what drew me to this top is the color. The color is so freaking pretty and I knew it would look really nice against my skin so I'm like I need to have it so one thing I could say was a little bit difficult to to figure out like where was the front where was the back I had to actually put it on to realize that I was actually wearing the back as a front because there's no tag on the neck part like what most tops have to let you know if it's the front or the back it was super easy to get in the neck is stretchy so I didn't have to worry about my makeup getting onto it because I stretched it real wide to put it on but uh, she's cute. Moving on 
to this one piece jump suit. I got this in a size medium and I was say, <laughs> when I picked the medium, I was like, girl, are we seriously gonna try a medium? Yes, yes we are. Because if you know if you're a girl with a lower, with a bigger, lower body and a smaller upper body, getting any type of one piece, two piece or anything like that is a challenge. I knew if I got a large, it would be too big. And then down here would be all weird and ish. And once I saw that it was a stretchy material, I'm like, yeah, we're gonna do medium. We're gonna fit in it. It's gonna contour where it needs to be contoured and giving sexy, okay? So I'm glad I went with the medium. It was super easy to get into. There's no zipper on this. There's no buttons. You gotta, you gotta pull it up. You gotta pull it up. And because of the material and how stretchy, it was, but it's a good and decent material, especially for the price. But because of how stretchy it was without stretching out, it was super easy to get everything inside. Like I didn't have to be jumping and doing all of this. Like it was just like a smooth sailing, a smooth put off. But I'm loving how it's fitting. The length of the sleeve is really long. Well, not really, really long, but it's it's decent. It's a decent length. I would say see-through wise, I can't really tell. It's nighttime right now, and I can't really tell with these lights. But I'm wearing a black bra, and I'm wearing like a dark underwear, so I can't tell. But never, nevertheless, with a lot of these type of outfits, you really should be wearing dark underwear anyway. Now we have another jumpsuit. I also got this jumpsuit in a size medium. So the only difference with this one versus the other one, obviously it's sleeveless and it's more of a higher neck. So I wanted to wear this with maybe like a, a big type of teddy coat or a leather coat. Just so I was thinking more like this would wear with a jacket, just any type of jacket. I could wear different colors with it and just dress it up if I need to, or I could dress it down with some sneakers and something a little bit more casual. This one has a zipper in the back. The quality of this material versus the previous jumpsuit is a little bit different. This one is giving me a little, it's giving cheaper. All these clothes are more on the cheaper end, okay? It's more affordable. So we're not gonna call it cheap, we're gonna call it affordable clothing. The material on the other one was giving more like a spandex mix and it gave it a, a richer material. I don't know which, which material it was, but it felt richer as opposed to this one. Um, I'm not seeing anything see-through wise. I don't think it's see-through. Again, it's nighttime, I can't tell, but um, it looks good. Like for the price, if you just want something simple, like a simple jumpsuit to wear, and you're not trying to buy a jumpsuit as simple as this for a hundred plus dollars. You, you just need it for, for something like, you know, something easy to throw on and all that good stuff. So I'm loving, loving it. The price and the quality for what it is. I thought it would be bigger than this. Um, it's cropped, but um, I thought it would be like just a tad bit bigger, like a casual outing type of look. I don't know if I wear it with this, but it still could be worn with this. But I like this little jacket. It's cute. I don't know what the temperature is this winter. It's giving wishy-washy. But um, this is still good enough to wear with a jacket over it because of the fit. It fits like a shirt. So I think it's, it's fine. I also got this jacket thingamajig in a size medium. And when I say thingamajig, <laughs> I don't know exactly what to call it. It looked cute on the website. So I'm like, let me get it. It looks like it could just transform and open from casual or simple and give it like a little edge. I didn't buy it exactly for this. I was thinking more like a tube top and a pencil leather skirt or a long skirt or I don't know, but I'm like, when the look comes to me, I'm gonna know how to how to put it together. It's cute. Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I can't breathe. I really, I really freaking tried. These jeans are so cute, but they don't fit. I got it in a size 30. The website said 30 is equivalent to a large, but it's not. It's not giving large at all. Like it took the hands of Jesus himself to get these over my thighs. And I'm like, once I got over my thighs, I'm like, yes, we can do this. Cause I was gonna give up. So once I get in there, right? And I'm like, okay, it went over my bum. When it came time to button it, 
as much as I sucked in as much air as I could get in my shoulder, it wasn't happening. Mm, mm. So I'm not gonna force it. The jeans are freaking cute. And I'm loving how long they are on my foot. Like look how long they are. Mm. Now when I saw this stuff, I'm like, yeah, I gotta get it. It's giving Y2K aesthetic, love it. Super cute, I know I could dress it up and make it work to give that look. Y'all know the look that I was going for. Y'all see it? I know y'all see it. It has a nice stretchy material. Not see-through at all. I don't think it's see-through. Again, I'm wearing black. So it's not like if it was see-through, I could see because of the black album bra that I'm wearing. Love the top. Absolutely love it. It's cute. Now, Jesus be a fence to help me get out of these bedrooms. Next, we have this skirt, this leather skirt. And I absolutely love the fit on this skirt. It is super comfortable. The quality is nice for the price. And it's giving a rouge side, which I love, because it gives a nice little contour to the bum. And the fit overall is just freaking cute. Now, I have styled this skirt already. I took it straight out of the package and wore it because it was needed for the look that I was going for if you follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. And if you haven't, you need to act damn that shit. So I'm definitely will be wearing it again and again and again to match it with different stuff this winter. So just wait on it. And also I bought this purse. It's a dupe. I think the, the bag is um is it a Balenciaga bag? I don't know which brand it is, but either way, Balenciaga is canceled, so we're gonna get a dupe. <laughs> a dupe on she and I can't I don't even have a scissors to cut this. Adding a little flavor to it. A vibe. Okay, now next we have this tube top. Now it's real simple, but I really needed a black tube top and not like a top that was just cropped. I needed a full top. So this is how full the top is. The quality is really nice and it was really affordable. But you need a you need something like this in your closet. A staple. Need it. Now I'm remembering one of the reasons why I got that black leather thingy magic is that I got the tube top to work with the black thingy magic. So we're gonna try it on again. I hope it looks good. I'm gonna be mad if it doesn't. Maybe if it was top? I don't know y'all, I don't know, tell me. Or did it look better with the bodysuit? I can't tell. Maybe a different skirt, a different top. This dress was so freaking hard to get into. I put the dress on wrong, back in the front. And because it was so hard to go into, I refused to take it off to switch it around. Y'all just gonna have to see it like this. <laughs> okay, y'all just gonna have to see like, the dress is so freaking pretty. Okay, the quality is really nice on this dress and I absolutely love the color. I bought two because of how much I love it and I got it in the blue. Now I'm dreading to even put on the blue to show y'all because what the heck? With a dress, this bodycon, this fitted, there need to be a zipper, especially because the neck is so tight and it's a turtleneck. It's not even a high neck, it's a high neck. It's a whole ass turtleneck. It was so hard. Like, listen, my wig shipped. My lace probably isn't even sitting right. And the material is stretchy overall. But the neck, the neck, we need, we need to do something about getting into it. Because once you put it on, it looks nice. But putting it on, you probably see all your deodorant, all your moisture that you put on because of how much it takes to get into the actual dress. Blue is one of my new favorite colors. Between blue and orange, I can't choose. I love, love, love the color of blue against my skin. The wig almost came off for real this time. Like I'm sure my eyelashes are crooked putting this dress on. It's, it's ridiculous how difficult it is to get into this dress. Now we're moving on to a more casual type of vibe. Now if you know me, I love a good two-piece track set. I love a good comfort fit, like joggers and hoodies. My everyday uniform, every day. So when I saw this color, I'm like, yes, I have to get it. I get most of my hoodie and jogger set from um, Zara, like majority of them is from Zara. They all might be from Zara. I have like a one, two piece from H&M, but Zara is my maid. And when I tell you the quality is matching, the quality is the same. It is the exact same. Matter of fact, some of my Zara pants are hella short. 
Like some of them be so freaking short, but this pants is all it's giving length and it's like I'm not even fronting when I say the quality of this genre is like really, really good. Love, love, love the color, love the fit, love the feel. It's super comfy. I mean, it has that fleece material on the inside. I think that's what it's called. Because I have really sensitive skin, so I can't wear anything that being rough on my skin. I need comfort, I need stuff. Like, hug me like a baby's blanket. This set is too freaking adorable. Like, it's too cute. I thought it was gonna fit a little bit looser. I don't know why. But I'm appreciating the little snug that it has. It's giving sexy casual. So I like it. I think I got it in um the top is feeling real medium-ish. <laughs> I think I got it in a medium, I'm not sure. I most definitely got this in a medium and I'm kind of glad that I did because if I went with a large, I knew it was gonna be super baggy. Matter of fact, I don't think the large would be so bad. So I don't think I could have gotten, gotten it wrong with a large, it just depends on how you want it to fit. I know I wanted it to fit a little bit bigger. So maybe I did want the large, I just didn't know it. But the, the medium is cute. It's giving snug and sexy which I also like. I don't know how I'll dress it. If I'm in the house wearing it, obviously, like this, but I feel like I'll wear this out. I definitely would, but it is very, very cute. Love it. The quality on it is really nice. It's soft material. It's not irritating my skin at all. That is one of the things that I look for most as well when buying clothing now is to make sure that it's nothing irritating, especially since my skin is super sensitive, you know, with me doing treatments and all of that and wearing ointments and stuff like i gotta make sure that the skin is is comfortable but um this feels really good i have not a clue why i opted to get this romper jump suit thing in my jig but it's hella cute <laughs> like it's very much giving i want to feel cute and luxurious in the house type of relaxing type Stylization. Yeah, you you got it. Mm -hmm. You got it. This is so nice. It fits so well. There's no like zipper or anything to get into it, but because of the stretch of the material, it was super easy to get in. Too. Like this is just like a nice lounge around the house. If I want to be sexy still, if I don't want to just wear my fluffy robe all day or my mix mix match pajamas. This is it. I also got this poncho. I think that's what you call it, right? A poncho. Obviously not to wear with this. It's supposed to wear outside. It's just something easy. Like if I was wearing like maybe a denim and a t-shirt or maybe a one-piece jumpsuit, like the black jumpsuit that I had on earlier. And I just wanted something to add a little bubble more flavor to it. This is actually cute. And I don't think I have to wear it like a scarf, right? Do I want to wear it as a scarf? Like type look? No? No? Okay. I want to put it back. Love it. Y'all not gonna say it's old lady like because I know y'all be lying because I be seeing the girlies wear this same exact thing in like a Fendi print or a Gucci print and don't look old lady when it's in a designer print. So I know it, don't play. Don't play y'all know this is a vibe. But before I try this dress, I got it in Mia. I was going for this look. I was watching new people with Lauren London. And she was wearing this outfit that I thought was so cute. Matter of fact, a lot of her outfits were just gimme. Ooh, this smells. Oh my god, it's hot. Oh, this smells funky. Yeah, what do I say? <laughs> the scent threw me off. Why does it smell like that? I um, mean, yeah, she was wearing this outfit, then I was like, yes, I need to, to, to mimic this in my own way draw inspiration so i'm about to try it on the top that i'm going to wear it with is from pretty little thing not she in so i just wanted to mention that before we get into it so let me put it on i don't know if i executed it to the t it wasn't to the t but it was something like this i don't know if i love it just yet i bought a green dress like a, a dark green to match the screen but it did not fit well at all so i'm like you know what i'm gonna try and this dress and honestly i'm not even mad at it it doesn't look so bad i don't think it looks bad let me know what y'all think like 
I wouldn't wear, typically wear something like this, but I really want to get out of my comfort zone with a lot of the clothing that I wear. Like I want to get out of my comfort zone and also have fun with my clothes. And so I don't know. I don't know what y'all think. What y'all think? Okay, let me try to tie the look together with the vision that I was going for with the items that I chose. Because I also got these boots, but I don't know if I was pushing it. I don't know if I was pushing it with the color. This whole outfit is pop, 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 pop. So I don't know if it's gonna be too much pop patient going on. But I'm gonna put on the boots and we're gonna see how it looks. Honestly, don't know if there's too much going on. Like I'm conflicted, like I'm loving the colors, but I'm, I'm not sure if I'd wear this outside. This is completely different for me. Like I just threw some shit on, but this will, this is how some people dress and it, it freaking works. Let's get into the boot real quick. Like these boots are so freaking bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb when I wore them. Now, I'm not a boot type of girl. I don't be fooled. Well, not boots, I love boots. Heels, like super high heels. Heels over four inches. I don't be fooled a lot with, with, with stiletto, okay? Like I like my back. I like my tush and I like my tailbone. So I don't be fooled a lot with heels that's too hot because I don't want back problems later on in life and also I can't walk in them very long. Now these boots are okay for the first 10 minutes. But after a while, I was like, yeah, you know one of those? Like you gotta, you gotta get down with it. Do the Mary J. Blige with it, uh-huh. That's how I started doing it. I started dancing. It was doing too much on my little feet. Like it was too much. Get the boots, just don't wear them long. Don't stand in them too long, but I love the metallic color of it. But um, I need y'all to vote in the comments if I should wear this outside. I went back to our more casual looks. This pants, I got it in a size large. And I was thinking like it could be a casual dressy type of look, but not dressy, but like casual cute. It's a jogger, but it has that classy look to it. So it's not just like a plain old jogger. I'm loving the detail in the front of it and also how the waist. The waist looks really different from your normal jogger pants. I just wanted a bunch of nude bodysuits. So I got this in a set of three. I got three colors in this bodysuit. They can be really simple but essential. Like you can dress them up if you want to do casual, if you want to do dressy, like you can do anything with a long sleeve bodysuit, especially in the winter. Like I want to do different stuff and getting them in different shades of tones that go with anything, like universal tones, essential. Like I wouldn't want to put them on to try them on. Like just imagine this in brown and black. Now we're moving on to this cute feather brown top. And it still feels very similar to the black one that I tried on in the beginning of the haul. Um, the only difference is this, this cut in the front and also there's a zipper in the back to get into. So it's really nice fitting. Um, it has that same plastic um, sticky thing my jig that will hold on to your skin to give you that security so the tie ties don't be flying up and being all crazy and ish. But I'm loving these, so I felt like I needed one in a brown and a black just in case the outfit that I'm wearing, I'm like, it is, this is like essential for like a fall and winter type in your closet. There's different ways to dress a corset like this. You can wear it over a top, you can wear it with a skirt, you can wear it with a jogger, you can wear it with the pants. Like you can do a bunch of different looks with just a simple, Clever corset. Listen, the casual fits will forever have my heart. Like, I, I just, I'm just in love with a classy, casual type of look, like an everyday look. Like this crop top, super cute color. And then these joggers. So wait, I got the top in a medium. Yes, I got it in a medium. And then the joggers. The joggers fit so nicely. I got them in a large. I love how they look on my hips. It's really cute. My only thing with joggers like this, I'm all of five three, five three, so I'm not I'm not tall at all. I'm like one inch below average. Okay, just just one inch. And if these are so short on me, especially because of my bum, they always lift 
up but like come on we need lo longer joggers like it's it's crazy like it really makes no sense at all like these needs to be down here like down okay i know finally we have our last set of items i think the gym girlies wear those leggings the gathering right between the tush so i'm like i need one of those like i need to try that i need that in my life so i went ahead and bought in medium now i hate like i have a love-hate relationship with leggings super cute right but i hate getting into them especially if i don't buy them large if i buy them large i get the gathering in my crotch and when i go to the gym they tend to slide down well not slide down but they like get that weird look in the front because it's a little bit too big but the medium oh my god it's like i hate like Pulling, like pulling and putting effort into clothing. Like I hate having to do that. I just like to slip things on, you know? But it's super cute. But for people like me, it's so unnecessary because by the time I put it out, it's stretched with that rouge thing in the middle. So it just looks like a lie. It's not even giving the gathering <laughs> in the middle of the box. Like it's not giving the gathering at all. It just looks like a line in my touch. The leggings is nice. It's real nice. It's really body contouring. I don't know why I got the hoodie. The hoodie was cute. So I'm like, let me get the hoodie. And the hoodie feels really comfortable, comfortable and nice. So I think I'm gonna get some other colors in it. I also got this. I think I'm gonna wear it with a blazer. It's a see-through legging. I'm thinking like if I was wearing like a short um, blazer dress or any type of short dress and then wear them and some boots. I could, I could just see the vision. That's the vision that I'm going for. It would be so like me to put a hole in something like this. Okay? All these rings that I had on, I forgot it's sheer. And I thank God it's ripped somewhere that won't be showing, like right on the tush right here. So thank God it, it won't be visible. But yeah, this is what the image with some boots, some ankle boots. And um, a black blazer. I need to put that open together because I can see it. I also got this gold purse that is the cutest thing. When it just came, it had a weird smell, so I just stared it out. Now I don't smell anything. And it comes with a strap, which is really nice, and it like clamped closed. Cute little clutch. Love it. Well, this is the end of the try and haul. Comment down below which items you'll be getting, which ones you like, what would you pair them together with, how would you style them. Let me know all the good stuff in the comments. If you've been here watching the entire video and you enjoy videos like these and other ones on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Like, let me know that you're here. Be a part of the family. Turn on that notification so you get notified every time I post a video. Don't forget to follow me on my socials, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at DanBestChef. Like, any updates with anything. Like, I'm live there on all three apps. Like, live. Not literally live, like, live streaming, but live. Like, I'm always active. Like, come, come check me out. Okay? Interact. Let me know you're here. You feel me? And yeah, that is all that I have for you guys today. I'll see y'all in my next video. Go on, big up for the Bye, guys. Mwah.